Hi, I'm Ian Blackburn, one of the solutions architects here at HT2 Labs. I'm here to talk to you today a little bit about getting started with visualizations in Learning Locker. When you first log into Learning Locker, you'll be presented with a page that looks very much like the one you see in front of you here. An empty dashboard with no data, and that's something we're about to change. If you head over to the menu on the left hand side, you'll see the word visualize, click on that, and that's where we want to be to begin with visualizations. If we look up to the right hand uh, top corner, you'll see a button that says add new. Hit that and you'll be presented with a number of options. For the purpose of this video, uh, we're going to choose a column graph. You'll see underneath a little briefing about what the best use for this graph is. Hit the orange tick and you'll be presented um, with a blank sheet to get started. The first thing we're going to do is give the graph a title, a label for the x-axis and a label for the y-axis. We're going to make this graph about the average score that a learner has got across any of the courses that they've taken that require a test or some sort of quiz at the end of it uh, once they've completed it. So we'll call it average score per person on our x-axis. We're then going to uh, call this person. And on the y-axis, this will be their score. We now want to click in this tab here, where it currently says hour, uh, and choose the correct option uh, for our graph. Of course, we can quite easily see here that person uh, is the most sensible choice. And currently, of course, there is no data, but we'll get to that. Next, of course, we're looking for the average. Um, so the best thing to do is to actually choose uh, the correct um, label in here, which is average of. And then again, we need to click into this tab and look for a sensible option uh, that we're going to be grouping by. In this case, there's the raw results, which is normally where we store uh, information in the statements. Now that we've selected the right options, we're actually going to try and get some data into this graph. We're going to change the range from the last seven days to the last year. And straight away, we can see some data is now populated. You can see here, if we take a quick look, we have Andreas Saunders of an average of 40.43, Ben Chin, 34.14 and so on. However, we're not finished yet. We're going to actually filter this graph down a little bit more uh, using some of the information we know uh, about the data that's held within Learning Locker. The first thing we're going to do is choose the store. This is the location where the statements are all being stored, um, possibly for a particular system uh, that's generating statements or maybe all of the systems put together. For the purpose of this, we've called it the sales demo, and this data is available on request from HC2 Labs if you need some data to replicate what we've done today or simply for your own training. Now, what we know about this data um, is that the courses that we're interested in should all have the completed verb uh, attached to them. So if we click on the did uh, drill down here and into this tab, we actually get a list of available verbs uh, that have been seen by the LRS. Like I said, we're going to use completed for the purposes of this video, and you'll see straight away on the right hand side that all the data has changed. Now we can see all of our users completed courses and their average score across all of them. The next thing we want to do is add this to our dashboard. If you click back onto the dashboard menu item, we go back to the original page, we look for the little button here that says add widget. When you click on this, you'll be presented with a box like this. You see some orange lines in the left hand corner and the word settings, click that. Let's give it a title. We can do that, give it the same title as the name of the graph. And then choose our visualization, which of course there is available in the drop down. Once we click that, we can see straight away now that the widget is populated. Hit the X in the right hand corner, and there we have it, our first visualization. And this can be dragged and dropped and placed anywhere on the screen. And we can keep adding visualizations on this as we start to build those up later on. That's all for this video. Thanks very much for watching. 